see if that's the option. No, they actually go Sand King. All right. The one time I don't mention Sand King, it comes through <laughs> fine. You have been mentioning it all day, John. I, I told you, just keep talking about Sand King. Eventually, it's going to come <laughs> up. You, you kind of gave up on that at the wrong time, unfortunately. I suppose Sand King is going to be a decent pick, though, right? Like, Because you, you don't want to farm heavy off lane. Maceros, he's known to, to maybe take those more farm heavy off lanes. But on the Sand King, you don't need quite as much. You might go for a Hood of Defiance, you might get a Vanguard, but you're ultimately you're looking to get into that blink, and once you put the blink up, uh, you can start roaming as a team and start making plays. Again, the, the question still stands, what the hell is Jackie going to play? That's the, that's the big one, right? Like, how are they going to enable this mid-TA? I guess you could go down, like, the Ricky route. We, we see him play Ricky, that's, that's a hero that doesn't really need the farm. What else do you have? I mean, Lifestealer can kind of do the same. You, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily want to be farming too long the Lifestealer. You generally go into an armlet and maybe a Desolator or an SNY, and then you're, you're kind of ready to fight. But I'm thinking Ricky or Lifestealer are probably going to be the, the way that Motivate does go for their position ones here. I suppose you could also look to the TB if it isn't banned out. Interestingly enough, though, Jonathan, Motivate Trust... Or rather, GXR, they ban out the Lena. They seem to believe that maybe it is going to be that safe lane TA. Yeah, I think... I think if they do run the safe lane TA again, GXR can still flex a DP. So it's not that big of a worry. You can still track the TA with a Death Prophet matchup if you feel confident in that. Means you can run it off lane. You can take something else mid to match up against Fearless and... What do we trust are also banning pseudo mids? They take out the Bat Rider, they take out Void Spirit, Storm gone now as well for Fearless, so it definitely looks like they expect that flex for Jackie. We'll see. If they do pick a different Jackie hero, the two you pointed out are great. There's the option for Raid King if they want a uh, comfort hero for Jackie. He does love his Raid King. It can be greedy with a TA and Sand King, so it's not quite the fast core we're looking for, but you can itemize differently. You don't need to go for the Radiance. You could just go for Armlet Blink, maybe an Echo Saber or an SNY just to have that presence and you can get running from there. So some options still left for Motivate Trust. We just have to see if they want to flex. Issue with a flex here is that they don't have last pick. So GXR will be able to adjust accordingly. Okay. 35 seconds to, to make this final decision. They're going to go into the Pango. Okay, so mid Pango, I guess. Should be a safe lane mm. TA now. Or mid Sanking. Mid -sanking? Oh, yeah. mid Sanking. Yeah, Paj, yeah, the... look what he's done, John. Now all the teams are doing it. I don't know. Is it a mid sanking? <laughs> I, I guess it is. It must be. Yeah, I, I feel like I prefer Masteros on the Pango. He's very comfy on the hero. He knows the timings he wants to hit. It's very good to lane against the Luna. Just get the disarm spam once you have the levels up with a swash. And then the Luna suddenly slows down in farm timing. So you can get that done. You don't need the Sand King off because you don't have, say, the arrow combination. You do have... Perhaps a Lion Sand King lane with Earth Spike and the Burrow Strike, but doesn't feel as scary. Uh, not with the burst damp, not without the burst damage of say the Marana. So I think the Pangolier should still work fine with a Phoenix or a Lion to support it. And Sand King mid, perhaps. I mean, let me try to think of something wacky. A Pangolier one, not. Nah, <laughs> it sounds terrible. I mean, you could try the Diffusal build or the Maelstrom build and go that route, but. Just doesn't wow. feel great and GXR into the tiny. So okay. we'll figure out who's flexing what relatively soon. Yeah, Mizu that Prophet, Alacrity Tiny. Now motivate trust. You gotta show your hand here. What do you want? <laughs> EA mid? Uh, Pango make, mid? Make, make it Sanking a mid? Uh, it is a Master Ross Pango. Okay. Fearless yes. on the mid sanking. Jackie <laughs> does get the TA. I was I was gonna get excited, John, if we saw a, a pause one Pangley. That would have been hilarious. Uh... Would have been very reminiscent of some of my pubs, let me tell you. Still, Jackie is going to take the safe lane TA. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, a lot of space creation with this draft from Motivate Trust, right? You, you're just all about buying space for Jackie. And he's on a hero that doesn't need long. Yeah, it's a pretty fast kind of scaling call. We've seen it all day. Has TA lost today? I, I feel like it hasn't lost once today. I can quickly check and looking through. I don't think it has. Fnatic were the ones running the TA a couple times. Did AG pick it in their second game against Fnatic? They nope. might have. No, no. They All right, it. then it's pretty much, yeah, unbeaten. It's just been winning everything. Uh, I think the one yeah. thing that Motivate Trust has to worry about is that in your dream is on Luna. 
That's a comfort right. pick for him. Paulson's on the A80. Love that combination. They've got the burst on hand. They've got ways to clear out refraction with the tiny. So you do block the damage from that burst. But then you're exposed to the TA after that initiation from Alacrity. And then the Luna can just clean up. The stuns can come in from Joe Cam and Paulson. We'll have to see if the execution lines up. For Motivate Trust, it's all about execution. They have to hit their timings. They have to make the right choices. They have to shut down the jungle of In Your Dream. They can't allow that Luna to farm up. In Your Dream, when he gets a running start, he will really repay the investment tenfold. Yeah, I mean, Motivate Trust. I, I like the draft. I like what they've gotten for. But we'll let's see if they can make the safe lane TA work. It is currently 4-0 and, four and o today, the TA. I, I, I did a, a bit of counting, John, while you were talking. 4-0. and zero. So I, I guess TA, it's... It's pretty busted. I mean, we already knew that, I guess. It's not too surprising. All the games have been going very fast as well, which does kind of explain why, now that we figured out that TA is 4-0. It's uh, just one of those heroes that just doesn't like going late into the game. It just likes finishing it within the 30-minute mark. By the way, while we're talking about TA, John... Oh, hold on a minute. Mizu's number one in uh, Set Zero's heart, apparently. Very nice. Mitsubishi Trident is... Uh, uh, Mitsubishi Trident? Mitsubishi, yes. It's a car... If, uh, if it's shout out. Uh, shout out to Anonym. I don't know how to pronounce that part, Jackie. But I am sure Paul Anonym. I don't know what he's saying anymore. You know how it is with Jackie. There was one time in lobby, we were, I was talking, and Jackie just suddenly piped in. It's like, John, you like Mahatsu? I'm like, I don't, I don't even know that much. I just know a little from my time in Singapore. Not, not enough, Jackie. I'm sorry. Yeah, to Jackie's, disappoint you. He's a cheeky boy, Jackie. Very, very cheeky. By the way, I, I was going back to my question. Patch is in about 10 days. Yeah. How do they nerf TA, John? Give me a guess. Give me a wild guess how they're going to nerf this hero. Talent nerf. Um, side blade readjustment on maybe the split mount scaling. That sounds like a pretty busted nerf if they actually do nerf the split mount. But I think the talent is going to get a change. The 100 side blade range at 10 is just too much right now way too oh. strong way too mid lane big group up this is into a tusk with a tag team i'm not sure about this motivate and not a great start fearless he's gonna go down joe cat to pick up the kill but now they might get alacrity and they will but now set zeros down they'll find a double onto joe cam who'll keep chasing forward he wants a triple but he won't have tag team for another five seconds he does Almost get the bounty. In fact, they might get a triple, John. He's got tag team again. TP away. Q. He'll make it out. Back to the fountain. He will have to take the long walk back to the laning phase. A bit of a mess to get this game started, but it was certainly a mess that favored GXR. Jackie gets a tip as well. Very nice. Uh, Jackie was sitting in the meld for a long time. Never got that one hit off onto Mizu. And that's the one thing with his side... Uh, lane build on the TA. When you go for the meld early, I've seen this before. People have run this before as well. You need to get that one hit off on the off laner while he's coming in. Then you just try to harass him out to kind of waste his regen and start farming up the creep wave onto your level 2. If you don't get that done, as you're seeing for Jackie, you don't have the range to really farm effectively against ranged cores. You're very vulnerable with level 1 meld. And it's down to set zero to get that zoning out. They're not going to stop Mizu from getting what he wants in this first few waves. And you do worry once that level three especially comes out for Mizu. With his Spirit Siphon running, you're not going to be able to trade hits with his Death Prophet as soon as that's up. Pulls over in the mid lane. Alacrity going to be there. Already forcing out Fearless on that mid sand king. He's going to run back and get the bottle off his courier. Uh, a lot of damage already being dealt the way of the Sand King. Fearless not off to the to the greatest start. Lacrity though, having a great old time, but I, I suppose now that you have the bottle up on Fearless, he should be much, much safer. Just in time as well for those water runes to spawn up, and you'll see him immediately start to push in that wave, so he can go ahead and secure the water rune in peace. Mid Sand King though, do you think Fearless is going to be able to make this look as good as your Parge does? Mm, he's all he's already off to a decent start in CS. Uh, he did die though, so that's a bit painful for him. But as long as he gets that stable farm, you hit your travels blink timing, you're pretty okay. The tiny can kind of bully you out. There's no sentry mid, 
so you can't spot him in the sandstorm. But you can always just toss a casual avalanche if you feel like clearing the creep wave. You will have to watch that. Oh, ooh, good yeah. toss back from Larkty there. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of damage there, and there's going to be a quick sentry being, sentry being placed here just to ensure that Alacrity can keep the harassment up onto Fearless. He won't reveal it yet. He's going to hold out for a bit. Fearless does have his own sentry in preparation for this. Just in case. Meanwhile, top lane looks like they are going to probably find a killer's Polis and gets caught out of position. It is going to drop it in your dream. Might be able to trade, but the disarm was there in time. Instead, he tries to go for the courier, but another disarm out from Maceros, and they'll get a double. The disarms were just perfect from Maceros. Yeah, that's, that's what you call pure skill coming out there for Maceros. <laughs> totally calculated chances on those hits. And Q gets to stick around. He can just sort of passively regen. Maybe look to reset on the tier 2. Looks like he will actually just uh, go for neutral camps. Maybe just go for a deny that where just clear out what he can with his remaining mana. So very efficient from Q. Clear out a small creep. Masteros, he's already off to a pretty decent start. In, in your dreams, farm is slowing down a bit here. And that's just kind of the story of the lane. As long as Masteros gets to abuse his swash, he should be able to hold steady. Try to build his farm up. He is lagging behind to in your dream, but you are slowing down in your dream's pace, which is, I guess, the best you can do. And when you find a kill, you, you generally tend to feel happy about the lane. Oh, naturally. I'll take your tribute. Looking back to the mid lane, Fearless still having a great old time in terms of CS. The laning stage is going to be super important for Motivate as well, right? Because you have a TA, you want to play fast, you want to make space for Jackie. That's all it's about here for Motivate Trust. Yeah, the more farm and XP you can acquire early on in this mid and top lane, the, the better you're going to be able to kind of create that space for your, for your safe lane TA. Jackie, he's not having the easiest lane in the world either. Still at uh, 20 and 5 in terms of CS on Jackie, so not too bad, but he is going to have to spend a bit of time in the jungle catching up. So you definitely want to try and ensure that the other two lanes go well so you can continue that space creation. So for GXR, I suppose when you look back at In Your Dream, he's not having the greatest time either, and he's going to need the exact same thing. And Just go back to the jungle, just get the farm up. They do also have a very fast-paced lineup to boot, so they, they can do the exact same thing as Motivate. It's a matter of who's going to do it better, I'd say. Yeah, it's it's down to the far more of Luna versus TA. I think it ends up fairly even, but the TA power spikes a lot faster with her initial items. So that's the one thing to watch out for. If Jackie gets the Dragonlance Desolator Blink a bit quicker, he's going to be ready to go. Whereas in your dream, he might feel like he needs an item on top of that to really get going and... Just gonna have to camp that jungle a bit more. When it comes to the space creation, and the big one to watch out for from GXR is their tiny. So far, Alacrity should have a stable right to blink. Gonna drop on the AA, and now in your dream again is gonna be in danger. They'll bring Fearless in for the kill. Jeez, that's the second time they've wiped out that top lane here on Motivate. No, I mean, in your dream, he's struggling with CS right now, and it only gets worse the longer he's dead. Not to mention all the XP and gold going the way of Maceros now. So this Pangolier going to have a very early level 6 timing, John. He's going to have it just about at the 6.5 minute mark. And that's going to be quite devastating. In your dream, he's still at level 4. That Rolling Thunder, it's going to be a problem. Oh yeah, it's going to be really hard to play into there for In Your Dream. Paulson needs to maybe just focus on building stacks up. There are a couple of stacks in that jungle. Not enough. You do see a lack to clear out some of those stacks in the triangle, so he's getting some revenge by taking some resources away. Yeah, still, the, our tiny is off to a decent enough start in that mid. Still lagging behind Fearless, though. The Sand King has managed to overtake in terms of net worth with all the rotations Fearless has done. The key thing now is Alacrity's blink. He's got the levels up. He's got the avalanche maxed out, the tosses up there, value point and grow. He just needs a way to gap close for his team and nuke the enemy heroes down. Still a ways off from that blink, but you could still opt to maybe get a side lane rotation if you want to. I think they really have to start eyeing Jackie. Since they lost IYD a couple of times up top, you need to kind of ensure the same thing happens to the TA so it doesn't get that farm advantage going. It seems like you're going to have to ask for that ro rotation from Alacrity though, to make that happen. And might be a little bit tough for Alacrity without the blink up. To, to be able to break the gap against the TA could be somewhat of a challenge without something like a haste rune up. 
He might have the opportunity now that Jackie is farming the jungle. Pings are out and he is actually going to be able to break the gap. Jackie is going to try and retreat. Yeah, Chris and I there to slow down. The shards are off the mark as well. They might get set zero, but that's definitely not the target they came for. But they'll get him. Alacrity, he'll take what he can get. Meanwhile, top lane, however, Maceros, he has got that Rolling Thunder out. Polison is going to drop. Maceros, he needs a way out of this team fight. And he's not going to get him. Clearly not a, not a very worthwhile trade there. Four mode of a trust is now Alacrity is going to try and find a secondary kill. Earth Spike is going to be out, however. And still, GXR should be satisfied with Maceros dying there for the sake of their AA. Yep, it's a nice trade coming out for GXR. Good punishment for the deep dive. And that does help in your dream bounce back. He hits level 6, he can go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Much easier to jungle through now for our Luna and start building up. And Alacrity's getting some good rotations out. The top TP might not pay off, but you are still finding kills on the Tiny. He's only about a thousand away from Blink. Well, Polison, he's uh, already having a bit of a rough time here on this AA. They're going to try and help him out here, but Jackie is there to set up a kill with the TA now. And on the brighter side, Mizu does kill off set zero again on the Phoenix. So both position fives, they're struggling quite a bit. Mizu, he's going to start going for that bottom tier one tower now with that exorcism. But Jackie's already left the building, and now Fearless is rotated with a haste rune up. He wants to try and make sure this push never happens. They dust him up though, Fearless, he may have gone too far. A nice snowball from Joe Cam. Real quick reaction there from our task. Avoiding the Burrow Strike and Misu. Gives them the not meant to be. Is they'll keep the bot tier 1 push going. Uh, Q's going to be around the lion to, to try and slow this down. And without the exorcism, they aren't going to be able to finish it off. But I suppose in, at the 10 minute mark, you'll still be able to get it done. So is it not going to be uh, not going to be too off the mark anyway. And that kill on Fearless was big. He just overextends, his haste expires when he tries to run in. And that punishment is pretty darn good. Uh, Fearless was number one in that fort. Now he's starting to lag behind. The jungle is being taken by GXR. There are no forward wards. It's been taken away by the side of GXR. So no vision to see these camps being cleared out. And this is the point where In Your Dream can really start to build up. He's got a 300 gold lead over Jackie. And it is a little bit easier for him to get the Glaives bouncing around consistently. So the farm pace is there. Dragonlance is up now for IYD. Jackie, Dragonlance is also going to be up. So not too far apart on these cores. It's just down to how early do you want to commit with him. And I think with the Luna, you could maybe play around with the Eclipse when it's up. So if need be, In Your Dream can still contribute to the fights. But for Jackie, he's definitely just going to have to take the backseat for a bit longer. Wait for the Deso, maybe wait for the Blink and BKB as well. Yeah. And Paulson, he's going to be around to try and stop that T1 top tower being pushed in. But there's not much he can do. In fact, Maceros is going to go for the dive. Rolling Thunder, probably not going to make it in time. He gave it a crack. And Paulson just going to get out in the nick of time. I'll no, still get the T1 tower anyway. Because GXR do the exact same thing at the bot lane, so just an even trade. And I suppose on the brighter side, Mizu, he does manage to save the Exorcism, so he might be able to set up for a mid-tier 1 tower push a little bit later on. See, you know, he's going to have it off cooldown. Still, you, do you get a little bit paranoid about the fact that Jackie's not being addressed? Like, I know in your dreams farming well, but the Luna does take longer to be online than, say, the TA. Yeah, it, it is a bit worrying. I think um, the fact that Jackie is still kind of keeping up here can be pretty scary. Once the Deso is up, we've seen that be the turning point for the TA. And the fact that Motivate Trust still managed to get the gold injected onto Fearless as well. He's got his blink. He's working with some BKB. So they're just completely negating the burst damage that can come out from Alacrity. And we're seeing Motivate Trust. Well, they've got Egg. They've got Finger. They're smoked up here. They can force the big engagement. It's their time to really hunt down, perhaps try to gun down in your dream. Issue is the map is blind. There are just no forward wards here for our Motivate Trust, so they're just kind of camping runes. That they are. They're going to try anyway. They're going to loop through the uh, the die jungle into the mid lane, I think, and they, they want to try and set up for that mid tier one tower. If they can get a good team fight to go their way, though. However, GXR, they're going to group up as well. They still have that exorcism. Scan is out. They know exactly where Motivate are. 
It's just a matter of how you get there, and they are gonna pop the smoke and try to force the fight. Alacri's got that blink up as well on the tiny. So he wants to try and make something happen, they're gonna bait with that illusion rune. He's gonna go for it. Both teams trying to do the same thing. Ice Blast is there. It's gonna be way off the mark though. Alacri, he's gonna find nobody. Now Q's there with an Earth Spike. They get the egg off as well. Burrow Strike off the mark. Everyone's missing everything. Rolling Thunder, it is at least gonna connect on the backside. They do find the AA and the Tiny is now the Snowball. He's gonna rush right through. Joe Cam, he'll go into the epicenter of Fearless. It's only one down so far, but they'll get another. They find Polison. That'll be a two for nothing the way of Motivate. And it just felt like every spell missed from by the side. But in the end, Motivate, I guess they made less mistakes. They do end up winning up the team fight. They only find two supports for that entire rotation. Dropping the episode, dropping the egg. If GXR wants to, they could look to force the fight. Like They could okay, go for the push. They know the big team fight spells are down. And that could lead to the tier one just being committed to here by Mizu, but I think GXR might just take a step back, keep the farm game up. They have bought the space out for In Your Dream. He's got the triangle under his command. He, he's just left alone and being efficient. And there's that smoke play, GXR. There are no counter spells for him to motivate. It's not going to be a good team fight for them. No, certainly not. Set Zero, he has broken the smoke. Still, they are going to try and go into the mid. Ice Blast again is way off the mark. Rolling Thunder, and now the Burrow Strike's there. They found a great Burrow Strike onto two, and they will go right in onto Alacrity. Snowball trying to get out. There is no way out for Joe Cam, however. GXR, they're looking a little bit messy today. Another Burrow Strike is going to find Mizu on the Death Prophet. They burst it down. You bet your Nelly they can. The Meld Strike going to be more than enough from Jackie. And the Tier 1 mid tower now definitely set to fall. There's uh, no real way for GXR to, to try and defend this. They're just going to go back to the drawing board and try to escalate their farm up on In Your Dream. Jackie has now taken over. He's very close to that Desolator as well, and that's going to be a, a very scary point now for GXR. Yeah, GXR, execution just falls flat. They don't get the blink initiation they want. They get caught in the middle, and oh. Ice Blast, again, off the mark. What? Sunray's going to be there. Fearless, he's still going. He's alive. He might even get Alacrity before he goes down, and he does. He's going to try and run now, but he does finally drop. Polison, he will go down to boot. Trap is there on In Your Dream, but Mizu, he's popped the ulti. They're going to try and go after Jackie on that TA, and it looks like he is a sitting duck. Finally, a team fight does go the way... A team fight does go the way of GXR, but... Man, oh man, it, it, these Ice Blasts, they're just always off. Radiance middle tower is yeah, under they, they, I think they, Radiance it feels like they tried to lead in with the Ice Blast. They need to have it as the follow-up. Inner Dream, he is farming up top. Master is keeping check. He does have a roll, but doesn't have backup. And that fight does stall out Motivate Trust's Roshan timing. I think if they manage to win that fight, that would be the completed date of Desolator up on Jackie. And we know that Deso timing is just basically Roshan time for whatever team has the TA. So they're not going to be able to take that yet. Very even game, 14 to 10, 15 minutes in. Less than 1k lead still standing for Motivate Trust. That's feel like GXR is starting to open up though. Well, this time they got the Ice Blast Q. It does connect. However, you might lose Joe Cam and Q's going to be all right. He will survive. You're at that point now where you're not really going to be able to just completely burst somebody with the, with the Tusk AA anymore. Like you're 15 and a half minutes in. Q's not really that soft as a support line at this point. Uh, GXR. Just gonna have to readjust. Yeah, I think the key thing for GXR is that they're enabling in your dreams farm. Right. He's still ahead of Jackie because Jackie died, but the Desso is up. TA into the Roche pit. And they have a lot of wards here for Motivate Trust to kind of find the rotations back in, but there are also wards from GXR to figure out the Roche is happening. Yeah, Ice Blast does connect. That'll slow things down here for Motivate. Roshan extremely low at the moment. They aren't going to commit all the way yet, though. Well, hold out. They might have to try and sneak their way back in, but before that, they'll go for a fight. They found Alacrity. That's a great target to get started on. That's your mid-tiny to drop. 
No epicenter required either as Maceros, he does find Joe Cam on the back line, but they don't need him. They will just go back for the Roshan now, knowing that mid time he's down. And Lacrity, I mean, he can buy back. Motivate? No, they're not going into the Roshan. They're going to take it easy. No, they will. They definitely will. And a good spot here. Especially with Set Zero. He's got the egg. If he pops it up in this area. They're going. Icarus Snipe there. A nice egg is going to be dropped. And now the Burrow AP center from Fearless. Paulson's down, Joe Cam, he'll go down. Mizu, he's gonna get Jackie on the TA. Maybe they can still fight this Roshan. In your dream comes in. They kill off Fearless and now they rush for the Roshan pit. The Eclipse will take care of it. They'll get the Aegis down. Mizu, Earth Spike is there, they'll get the Death Prophet. The Q is probably gonna die for this. And in your dream, just with the Eclipse alone, was able to finish off the Roshan. Now GXR back in the driver's seat with a 2k net worth lead. Motivate Trust, they did really want that Roshan. So you you kind of need the Aegis when you're playing this TA. It's one of the big advantages of this hero. It's almost like an Ursa. But they're not going to get it. GXR, they take it away and that's going to buy them even more time now to, to secure more farm on in your dream. And you know, I, I know we've been talking a lot about how great TA is today, John, but it's still Luna. In the late game, it's still going to be a big problem. And in your dream has a very clear net worth advantage now. 3k above Jackie. The TA missing out on Roshan. It just feels painful. You have the BKB up now on in your dream. So he's protected from the control coming out on Motivate. It's just strange. Motivate had the good positioning. They kind of dropped the egg early without figuring out where IYD was. I think that's the big factor. The egg drops. The big cores weren't caught out by it. They managed to reposition themselves outside, and then the follow-up damage was just there after the egg ended. So, the execution once more on Motivate, maybe not quite lining up the way they'd want it to. GXR, they break the game a bit more open. 2k lead their way, blink up on Jokam. So the saving plays with Snowball is there, or the more aggressive blink punches are up. And GXR now can kind of tackle these fights from a lot of different angles. Um, you have to watch for just how much control Joe Cam can do here. Like, if you don't lock in the Tusk, he can just snowball save any core that's caught out. And that could stall the fight long enough for bigger reinforcements to come in. Yeah, scary times for Motivate. Set zero. I'll run into In Your Dream and Polison, but he's going to be okay to Icarus dive out. Immediate Sunray TB. The Ice Blast, though. Oh, it's not going to give the vision. Had they gone on the vision, you could have got a Lucent Beam to cancel the TP, but... Nice blast was just a, a tad off. Yeah. Not a big kill to lose out on. I don't, I don't think In Your Dream minds too much as long as he gets to shove out the waves. Maybe line up for a tier 2 to shove in. And they are kind of getting that done. And that bot tier 2 is still fairly healthy. But the moment the Luna can start to commit just to getting the hits off, it's not going to be healthy for long. And Set Zero is still in the area to defend. He needs the rest of the team here if they do want to hold off this push. Yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower. Uh, tier two tower gonna be glyphed up early. Motivate. They're gonna try and force the the top Dyer's tier two top tower. tower is under attack. It, it really feels tough now for motivate. Like they could still easily pull it back, I suppose, but it's just very scary going into that late game Luna now. Without the Aegis up as well. Dyer's you can still play for the second Roshan and that's what Dyer's Motivate are gonna have to do now. Just GXR are going to be able to get so much out of the map with this age to their own. They really shouldn't be able to get away with this. Especially considering how hard of a lane In Your Dream had against Maceros. And now top lane, Alacrity. Let's run out the Avalanche. Not going to opt to blink in. He won't go too far without his team. But they already found the bottom tier 2 tower. And they're going to protect the top tier 2. And this is something Motivate should probably be doing with the TA. But it's just not happening. Back to smoke up now. They're going to keep trying for more. It is going to be broken by Q. So smoke may lead to nothing. Joe Cam or his punches off the mark. Q gets the hex off. Maseros trying to get the roll going. However, the Sans is there with a nice toss back. Alacrity. A very nice toss back into Mizu for the silence. They find something they really shouldn't have. That, that smoke broke ages ago. 
Yeah. yeah. You just get Stop. some good pickings there for GXR. They find the top tier one. They're going to go for the top tier two. That's only going to leave one outer tower left for Motivate. They're playing in a bot jungle, but they can't. They're trying to get some control back. There are still some very deep wards here from GXR, but they're trying to keep up and farm. Jackie, BKB is only the recipe away, and that's about 150 gold off. So once that's up, maybe the TA can do more in the middle of the fights. It's going to have to be impactful as they are losing a lot of ground and GXR are just allowed to roam around. Tier 2 top eventually falls. Aegis, they've got not too much time left. Maybe 10 seconds left in that Aegis here. But they can still line up for these fights. They're just very strong here. Set zero. Let's get the Icarus dive away. Fearless. Just trying to hide in the sandstorm. We'll eventually blink out. But it's really just desperate times now. Jackie, he gets a BKB. But it, it just doesn't mean as much anymore. Because you're not dominating the map. In your dreams, got his own BKB. He's working towards his Daedalus build up. Already has the shards up. I guess it's all about the second Roshan now for both teams. But especially Motivate. Like, if that second Roshan goes the way of GXR, you're in dire straits as Motivate Trust. Yeah, they can't afford to lose that one. It'll open up the high ground. The Ag Shard could just fly out onto, say, our Tiny, as Alacrity hasn't opted for it, so. Free Ag Shard for Alacrity means he can just transition to the right click build. And that's where things get scary. You've got very big cores that are scaling on GXR. They will smoke up. They are taking point with Mizu. And if they manage to catch out one of those big heroes on Motivate Trust, say Jackie or Fearless, the high ground's going to be very easy to follow up on. GXR, Jackie would be an amazing kill right here. They break the smoke. Jackie's going to see him, but he goes for the kill. BKB off though. He's going to try and fight back. Alacrity is going to back out. Glimmer Cape going to be good as the Warriors Punch comes in. Jackie is still trying. Finger is there. They got Alacrity down. In your dream now with the Eclipse going to rush forward. Go after the egg. Can he make it in time though? It doesn't look like it. He'll get stunned up and now the epicenter burrow strike with the snowball. Joe Camp. He'll buy a bit of time. Back into the Phoenix with the Earth Spike. Is there from Q oh, and it will buy even more time now. Oh, the team fight. It looked terrible for Motivate to start, but they make it work. Oh man, that, that was a that was a bad call to go for the egg. It was only in your dream hitting that. And he just gets caught out. His BKB does nothing. He was completely ignored until the egg popped. And GXR just fell apart. So suddenly, Motivate Trust, they've got the lead again. 1k their way. They're trying to shove in as many waves as they can. They don't have Jackie, unfortunately, so they can't quite take the objectives. They have bought themselves some time. They managed to put a dent in GXR's game plan and stall out for the next Roshan. Masaros, he's got the Basher up. Basher Maelstrom, his swashbuckle is very impactful in the middle of these fights. Gives him a really good way to still get control off through the BKBs. That's something GXR will have to watch out for. And GXR, I mean, their ages expired as they were taking that. Right? Like, they only had 10 seconds the last I checked. They group up for the smoke. And they take a massive risk. And they just got their smoke broken in the wrong spot. And they kill off the one big hero, but they lose everyone else. Not a very good trade-off for GXR. Motivate anything else they can build up in the downtime. Well, they're going to have a blink on Jackie soon enough. And that does mean the TA should be able to bail out of those tough spots sooner rather than later. Um, Fearless, he's got his own BKB running. He did manage to use that last team fight down to 8 seconds. Going for the Heaven's Halberd. So that is a way to put a lid on the Luna. If you manage to disarm her or the Tiny, eventually when Alakki does go for a right click, it takes away all that investment. And that's the point where you start to worry about GXR. They, they need to group up a bit more or at least space themselves out better. Be coordinated in the targets they jump in your dream. If he just backed off from the egg instead, he might have been able to do more. Absolutely. It's one of those things, right? You just needed one more person to hit the egg. and In your dream, he committed. The rest of the team, they just could not. Joe Cam, he tried his best to, to save the day, but it just didn't prove to be enough. EXR. Have to go back to the drawing board. You, you don't want to really throw this game back the way of Motivate. Like, you had such a decent lead going. Daedalus is up now and in your dream, but the damage doesn't really feel like the issue. 
Just the execution here from GXR. They can clean it up a little bit. Should be enough to, to take down Motivate as, as the game does proceed. Though you're at the point now where Jackie's probably going to start working towards his own Daedalus build-up. And then that's when things can get very scary. Is now set zero. Going to proc the Aeon disc. No amount to much, but you might be forced to smoke up now as GXR, and they will. Blessings. They know they can burst down the Phoenix very, very quickly without it, that Aeon disc. They need Don't Alacrity to be able, be able to jump in with the Ice Blast there from 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 uh, from Polison. Oh, Jackie, he's going to show up in that mid lane. Not quite the target you can really Phoenix burst down. They'll probably try and just leave him be. Now a counter smoke is there for Motivate. Kings are coming out. They seem to know that the GXR is on the other side of that mid lane. Roshan's up as well. So winner of this team fight has first dibs on that Rosh. Jackie's going to spot it out. They wait out the shards. They might be able to sneak this. And they're going to try to make it happen. They're going to try and sneak it as the shards wore out. But the pings are there. I think the swashbuckle... Made it very obvious that they're in the pit, but that Roshan is dropping so darn low. They need to jump in right now. Joe Cam is off the mark with the blink, but Alacrity's in. He has oh, got the Aegis as well. He snatches it away from the grasp of Jackie, but it's going to cost his life. At least the first one. Meanwhile, on the back lines, Fearless, the, the bar strikes out. They are just amazing here. He just stuns up everybody and holds them back. They jump in. Alacrity, he's been caught out a second time. It's going to be another team wide, just about. You took the Aegis away from, from Jackie, but what does it matter if you lost so many teammates? I believe it was off the back of Fearless, and you did also have the, the Lion there just throwing up Burrow Strikes and Earth Spikes. Yeah, and the, the stun combination coming out from Motivated Press is very strong. Very well timed Egg as well from Set Zero. He just immediately popped it the moment he knew the time he was committing. And it just made it very awkward in the pit. Jackie only got the cheese, so they lost out in the Ag Shard as well. That was passed on to GXR and... Oh, oh jump in. Jackie, he doesn't have an Aegis, don't forget. So they lock him down. He might just be gone. He didn't have BKB in front of the five. Oh, now that, that, that top lane of Barracks. Not going to go down yet. Maseros, no, oh. an epicenter. Burrow strike. Fearless. He may have just saved the day for the team. Mizu... Gonna keep going with the Spirit Siphon. He will get set zero, but he's still gonna drop. Still a two for three trade, and they, they can't go back for the top lane of Barracks. They'll go for the outpost here on Motivate. But GXR, they're gonna have time for, for In Your Dream to respawn up. Get back to the farm game. This game is nowhere near over. Yeah, um... The fear coming out from uh, Mizu really gave them that control. Like he he was the one that got the Ag Shard. So the Spirit Siphon fear is there. Additional charge as well. You, you can't just kind of stand and trade without committing your BKB now. When that um, when that DP manages to jump you, you have to be very uh, cautious about that additional control coming out. I don't think Motivate trust mine too much. Like the high ground would have helped them out. I think the safer bet would would have been a tier two mid. They really wanted to start to take more control in the map, so they took a bit of a risk going all the way in, not respecting the sh fairly short response on GXR. And they just got punished for being a bit too far forward there on Jackie. They're still in a good spot here. Net worth gap between Jackie and Inner Dream, basically non existent, just about 800 gold apart now. And that's not unplayable at all for the TA. 6k lead overall for Motivated Trust. Um, Alacrity has tapered off on that tiny. He has not been able to farm up into the right-click tiny just yet. He does pick up the Hyperstone. He is saving up for the AC. Once you've got the AC, he can just get the Daedalus up and try to dish some damage true for the team. It is fairly slow going. Like He's not given as much space on the map. He is getting some lanes out now. But Motivate Trust, they see that signaling from the tiny and they're smoked up. Yeah, that they do. Motivate Trust. They can, they can make this team fight work as well. There's not many buybacks on the map right now. So it's a, a big moment for them. Oh, they're going to have the high ground. Paulus and he might be the first target. No, they want to go after Joe Cam. 
Get rid of that pesky task. Ice Blast is there, but Joe Cam, he's going to survive. They will commit the egg as well very early. They only seem to get Polison. And that won't be enough for Motivate to be able to force a high ground attempt. Back to the drawing board for them. They'll probably have to play the farm game a bit longer. Yeah, they're going to have to wait for the next egg to be up first at this point. The next Roche is still ways off. Four minutes until we see the respawn. GXR, they've got the full Daedalus up on In Your Dream going towards the Scotty next. Of course, he's got the Ag Shard. So the beam can do work for them. And that does mean that they can just constantly keep the creep waves shoved back with Mizu's damage as well and his wave clear. So there's not much pressure coming out in the lanes. Any motivated trust are just looking to kind of still keep clumped up. Despite not having the egg, they've got the epicenter of Burrow Strike. They've got the finger ready here on Q. If someone pops out, they could still be pretty dead here. They may just run into each other again. Mizu. And your dream both there. Q. Oh, they're gonna find him with that loose and beam, but the hex is out. They found in your dream, and now the burrow is there again. He got snowball saved, however, Joe Cam. He saves the day. The BKB will come out in your dream. Still needs to run back. He's gonna pop the eclipse and try to fight this one out. Fearless is down, but they found Paulson and Joe Cam and Q. Oh. He gets the finger off in the back line. He found the Luna in your dream. He has no buyback. Look at the side plates jumping around here from Jackie. Mizu, he's gonna try and fight this TA. He's actually doing a great job of it as well. Jackie, he got out of the meld strike. He might be in trouble, but no. The Earth Spike again gonna save, however, Alacrity. Keeps moving. Refraction is there. Toss him back into the Death Prophet. Four stuff, or rather Hurricane Pike. Jackie, still low, but still alive. He'll turn around. He'll get Alacrity. They can't kill him. Jackie's blinked out. Back on the Death Prophet they go. Mizu, he is left behind all by himself. They commit the egg. They will go after him all the way. How does Jackie survive throughout all of that? He was I one hit have, away for so long. I have no clue how he actually lived there. He was barely alive. Like, it looked like once they burned through the refraction, he should have had the damage, but uh -oh. really great hurricane. Oh, no, no, that's not enough. Gives him a spell. Yeah, good attempt there. It does land this time around from Paulson, but Jackie living throughout the entire engagement. Doesn't pan out for GXR. They lose in your dream. Really good stall out from um, from Joe Cam with the snowball saves. Yeah, just not enough to really win out. And because Jackie's alive, they can actually push. They take the mid tier two. The jungle's not safe anymore for GXR. Motivate Trust can get the control there. Q, he had a lot of patience. He was silenced up. He was still hiding in the same spot he was spotted at. And then he just looked for the moment in your dream was pulling out with his BKB fading. And just got the finger. I think that patience from Q made that fight a lot more bearable. If In Your Dream was allowed to live, he he would have just been sitting back, maybe spamming the Lucent Beam, and that would have been entirely different engagement for Motivate Trust. So they're they're starting to shape up here in Motivate. GXR, they've still got power in them. You know, they've still got a Luna. It's not lagging too far behind in farm. They just need to be careful about walking in blind like that. Motivate Trust were very patient with the bait play. And it paid off in a big way. GXR, they need to take these fights on air terms. They need to jump in first with Alacrity, get the engagement we want, isolate the back line, and start melting some of those heroes down. We're going to make something happen here, GXR. I mean, it, it's a really rough position now. You still have plenty of damage out here within your dreams, Luna. It's just a very tough matchup. You're this far behind. Ice Blast. Gonna get a bit of vision. They just want to check the Roshan pit to make sure that hasn't been started. But Roshan, not even gonna respawn to another 15 seconds. So they're a bit early. DXR still looking to move in. Rosh will find out in 5 when it's gonna respawn. How early does it want to come up this time? Oh. It's gonna be a late one. 2 minutes 10. Fearless. Shards, not going to be on the mark. They even missed the, uh, the glaive there with the Lucent Beam. It's going to be all about that third Roshan. Yeah, that could be a very, very big one, depending on what gives it gives as well. Like, if it's a refresh, and it could still be nice for Motivate Trust having back-to-back -back eggs. Uh, Joe Camp? Uh-oh, Joe Camp. 
Yeah, he gets caught out, apparently. I'm not 100% sure what he was doing there, but... Well, that'll be a Tusk on for 40 seconds. Pings are out towards the top lane. I mean, this Tusk has been a big problem, so maybe Motivate feel like they can try to force the issue now, and they can. Oh, Fearless, he found a Burrow. That's another nice target. That's Polison down without buyback. Ice Blast again is one of the big issues. So Motivate, they can try to force a Rax. GXR, they've got to take this fight very cautiously. A tossback is there, but the Burrow Strike on Alacrity, and now the four star forward. Jackie is still fine. And Lacrity is going to try and fight with this BKB. But it seems as though Motivate... Do they feel like they need to back? You've got the Tusk back up. Yeah, Motivate. They're not interested in going any more any longer. They're going to back up. Yeah, it's just a lot of damage out for Quince Lunas there. Their bot wave is also deep pushed. They could just wait for the Roshan now. Uh, that will give GXR enough time to regroup as a team though. And... They can't still take some team fights, so you still have to pay respect to that. Would be keen to see whether or not it's the Ags Blessing or Refresh. Coming through, I think Motivate Trust might really prefer the Ags. Just say an Ags on Jackie at this point with the projection. He's just going to be all over the map. He could split push a lot faster and split up GXR to force a response out. That could open up opportunities for Motivate Trust to take some better fights here. GXR still in a position where they need to get something done roshan five seconds away they can't afford to let motivate have this one and we scouted out by the trap there with motivate gxr gonna take the other triangle dyer's courier has been killed Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Both teams now very well aware. Motivate. They're going to smoke up. They want to try and force the fight right here, right now. Top lane still being forced in. This is a bit awkward Radiant's now for, for GXR. Jackie's going to force the racks in and try to force the rotations Dyer's back to defend. If they don't want to, he will just take the racks. And he does. They're going to try and force the Roshan instead. And went out this way, but the Roshan's not going down fast enough. Fearless, he has an Arcane Rune. He'll go in with the Epicenter and the Burrow Strike. And it looks like Alacrity oh. might drop too fast. He does BKB up. Set zero, though. He's already cut off Joe Camp. And now you've lost the Tiny. Alacrity's down. Mizu's going to try and run, but he is so damn low. It looks like he is set to fall as in your dream he's going to try and fight back by himself but you've got Jacket to worry about the eclipse does wear off it's not enough damage he's going to die there's no buyback available joe cam he'll go for a snowball and will fight fearless but now he might die to boot it'll be a dieback it looks like on our task they'll get it all heroes down on gxr roshan open for motivate now, if they realize there's no die, rather no buybacks, they could rush the tier fours, but they may as well go for the Roshan first. Yep. Safer play here for the side of Motivate Trust. No rush. They give the refresh shard onto set zero, so they've got the potential for back-to-back -back eggs or just a pop on the Aeon disc if necessary. Jackie, they are pinging out the tier fours coming out. They could go for it. They're just shoving in the top wave to get some space out to get the back door off and. And Jackie's going to go for the safe range. Just go for the mid tier 3. They can't take bot, so no mega creeps because the tier 2 still stands. But without those buybacks, I think Jackie's suspecting it. He's just standing right behind the tower. And yeah, tier 4s. Absolutely. I mean, you've got 35 seconds to win your dreams back up. That is going to be a way too long. Alacrity, Polison, they can try to defend this. Even the swift blink now up on Jackie going to escalate things even further. Surprisingly, Jack is the only one hitting the tier 4 as the rest of Motivate are patiently waiting for a jump in. Nobody's coming though, because nobody's really alive. Alacrity now, he's going to come in with the BKB and try to slow this down, but the Ancient is exposed. And Jackie, he'll get back to work. He'll just focus the Ancient down while the Rolling Thunder is there from Maseros. Ice Blast, Mizu is back. They do have In Your Dream in one second. And here we go. They'll try one last defense. Avalanche Toss is there. They've got Jackie. The Aegis is still up. Jackie, he won't stop hitting the Ancient. They're going to focus the objectives down. GXR, they've got to try and play tower defense. BKBs are out though. You cannot defend this. And GG's called. Ancient does explode at 41 minutes. And Motivate Trust.
Yeah, it, it was a back and forth game between these two, but they do manage to pull off game one. Yeah, it was very close from both sides. GXR it looked like they had a much better time. And the early game in the first 30 minutes, really, until that big fight broke out and Motivate Rush just turned it around. Their aggression started paying off. The damage output, the presence of Jackie was just a lot stronger than in your dream. And it just came down to the core matchup. A TA versus Luna. Luna has great damage. It jumps out in different ways. Jackie has great damage as well. And most of that is really just oriented around getting someone dead. Like Psyblade spill is great. You don't really rely on it to kill other people most of the time. You really do just have insane minus armor. And that just built up a lot better compared to in your dream. They couldn't quite uh, transition on Alacrity from being a avalanche toss burster into the right click. And that was the big issue there. Like he was never given the room to grow on Tiny. Whereas for Motivate Trust, they got the space for Fearless and Monsters to be big. We'll see if it, GXR can shake that off, but Motivate Trust, they're looking better now, especially in those late game decisions. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. We'll head off to a short 10 minute break and right after that break, we're going to be back with Game 2's draft and we'll see how the night is going to end. We'll see you all again very soon.